In this video, I'd like to share with you one of the most important and useful apps I've discovered this year that completely shifted and transformed my workflow in terms of how I do screen record, screen capture, screenshots, doodling on a screenshot and send it to your friends and family within a second, and how to record internal audio or your desktop audio in a video format. Everything I just mentioned above is built in a single app and it's called CleanShot X. Make sure you stick to the end of this video because I'm going to reveal to you in and out about this app and how you can implement this app into your daily workflow to maximize your productivity and efficiency. With that said, we are starting right now. First thing, let's talk about installation. Once you get the app downloaded to your download folder, it's going to be a zip file. You want to double click on it, unzip it, and you want to open the folder. And then you want to double click on the DMG file, and it's going to ask you to move the CleanShot X into your application folder. That's all you need to do. So once you start the app, it's going to be located on the top right corner, the menu bar. You can see CleanShot is ready to use. Once you click on it, you're going to see the nine main features of this app. I'm going to show you guys the most important feature that I use on a daily basis and then we go from the list that way. You want to come to system preferences right before we use the app. You want to come to shortcut tab right here and then you can see here general only in one shortcut for me is command shift 5. So every time I do command shift 5 it's going to automatically turn on these features and then the screenshot is one of the most important one. The capture area is command shift 4. So as a Mac native feature command shift four is actually regional screenshot. You can draw a certain area or region and you want to take a screenshot that way. Capturing the entire screen is command shift three. And this is going to take an entire screenshot of your desktop. So those are the main changes I've done. However, if you just do this for the first time, CleanShot X is going to prompt you to disable the native shortcut. How you do that is come to system preferences. You want to search for a keyboard or click on this icon right there. And then the third option says shortcut. In here, you can see screenshot tab. I have disabled every one of them. Moving on forward, you can rely on CleanShot X to do all these features for you. Now with these three main tweaks, I'm going to show you guys the first feature is how to do a screenshot and doodle on the screenshot. So remember, original screenshot is command shift four. I can draw a certain area like this. The cool thing about CleanShot is right after screenshot, you're going to see it's going to stay on the bottom left corner. On until you do certain actions to tell it, hey, I want to copy this file or I want to save it to my desktop or you know what, it was a mistake, just close on it or I can doodle on the bottom left corner or upload it to CleanShot Cloud. I'm gonna get into it just in a moment. And another feature here is if you're texting someone or if you're in a Slack or emailing someone, you can literally just drag and drop this image into the conversation or email and it's going to deploy this image onto the conversation and you can send it and share it with your team and friends and family. The bottom left corner that's going to let you doodle, at least I call it doodle. So basically this allows you to do many things on this one screenshot. For example, you can draw a certain box like this and you can change the color of everything here and you can draw arrow like that really easy and then you can draw circles. For drawing circle, if you hold on to option key on your keyboard, you can draw a perfect round circle and from there you can type certain text and then you can change the font in terms of how big the size you want to go with if you have a sensitive information and you can actually blur certain part and then from there you can do step one step two step three step four and you can do this numbered little icon to show them different steps or from there you can draw basically an underline and also there's a one more feature here called a spotlight and it's going to darken the background or other parts and it's going to highlight or show spotlight on the region you just highlighted there. And then Command Z is always you can do undo or redo just like any other apps. And then last but not least, and you can have a pencil feature to basically draw certain things with this pencil icon. So when you're done with this entire thing, you want to send it to your friends and families or your team drag me icon right here. You want to click on it once and drag it into your desktop and immediately the bottom bottom left corner, that window closed, and then the file appeared on 
your desktop. So this way you can save this file and you can always rename and so forth. If you want to draw something on top of the existing file, you can always do right click, open with, and you can choose clean shot X. And then here you can continue your editing. You can do certain other things, right? And then click on drag me again. You can create a second file. You can keep two different files. The second feature I use most often is record screen. On this channel, I do a lot of screen recording in terms of tutorials. I want to capture a good quality screen record. So when you click on record screen, which screen you want to record? I have a second monitor here. I'm going to click on this screen. Before you record, it's going to show you this little adjustment window. So let's go through them one by one. The first one is if you want to capture your mic on your screen record, then you want to choose the mic option you want to go with. Second feature here is if you want to record your internal audio, the internal sound that's coming from your computer, such as Zoom or if playing music or playing something you want to capture the sound, then you want to toggle the second option to make sure that one is on. Third option is if you want to show camera, then you can toggle this feature and choose the camera you want to go with. It's going to automatically show the bottom right corner. This is my basically my camera or I can use this as a webcam. The cool thing about this is I can drag it around. I can drag it in the bottom top right corner and it's automatically magnetically snapping into the corners and you don't have to go precise, right? It just can drag it towards the bottom and let go. It will automatically snap to the corner. I can move it to the different corner as I want to. And if you want to show highlight clicks, you want to turn on this option. The fourth option here is going to highlight a circle on your curse when you click on something. It's important sometimes when you want to let your audience or let the person watching the video to know where you're clicking exactly. And the last but not least, and this is another cool uh, feature is showing the keystroke. Every time when you type certain key commands, it's going to capture the keystroke. If you want to record a portion of your screen, not the entire screen, click on this toggle full screen feature right here. Click on it once and you can toggle it between the original screen record or the full desktop screen record. And now once you're done with that, click on record screen give it a few seconds you can see it's spinning on the top right corner and it should take a couple seconds and now everything is recording you can see every time if i click on something this is highlighting the clicks if i do certain key commands it's going to show at the bottom section here during recording you can actually move it around like this when everything is done you're done with your recording click on this icon right there in here you can actually watch it through if you want to the reason it popped up this window is because i asked clingshot to record a comment computer sound, the computer volume in case I'm playing something. This is a cool feature that allows you to adjust the volume of your mic versus the volume of your desktop audio. And you have the option to merge the audio or don't merge the audio. And now I'm just click on merge audio and it's going to merge the audio and save it right here. And right there, I have a couple options from there, right? Number one is I can actually cut or trim this audio clip if I want to. And immediately I can upload it to Clingshot Cloud. Basically, again, it will generate a link. You can share people certain links. This feature is really similar to Loom video. If you're familiar with the app called the Loom. For now, I'm going to save it. Basically, that is automatically going to save it on my desktop. Click on it once and choose record screen. And then I want to click on this option so I can take original recording like this. But the cool part here is I can, instead of recording a video, I can record a GIF if I do record GIFs. Just wait for it for a few seconds. Let the entire video or the clip play whenever you're ready and click on stop. And what happens here is Clingshot is automatically creating a GIF for you. If I click on save, you can see that this is a GIF option, which is a moving graphic into your desktop. This is a really cool feature that I don't see a lot of other apps have this feature. And now I'm going to show you guys the next feature of this app is called a scrolling capture. Click on it once and I'm going to select the screen because again, I have two screens. I select one and now it's going to show you this little box for you. I'm going to drag it right over the website just adjust it perfectly so it fits in the website. And then once you're done with that, you're going to start capture. What you need to do is basically scroll slowly, not very fast, and it's going to take an entire screenshot of this website. And whenever you're done, you're ready, click on done. And now if I save it to my desktop, so what Clingshot did here is it captured the entire website 
in a really high quality PNG format. If I zoom all the way in, you can see a lot of details are still there. And now self timer option is pretty straightforward. Every time if I do a screenshot like this, it's actually gonna give me a five second countdown and then it's gonna take a screenshot like that. So the next feature is gonna be capture text or AKA OCR. So basically you can use it as a screenshot, even though it's a screenshot, but it's a screenshotting and a capturing and extracting the text information from that screenshot. And earlier in the system preferences, in the shortcut settings, you can see that I changed it to command shift two because that doesn't have conflict with a native Mac shortcut. Sometimes if you like certain code like this or image, conventionally you have to type it, right? It takes you at least a few minutes to type this out. And then I'm gonna do a command shift two. You can see this curse showed up. It allows me to take original screenshot. In this case, I'm gonna just draw a box on the text and let go. Everything's copied in my clipboard. And if I do a command V and the paste that you can see the OCR is extracting the text from this image and is dropping into any other documents, you can just copy paste. The next one you can always use is command shift five. It's all in one. So look at what happens when I do command shift five. It's gonna show up this window. So I can actually immediately bring out all the features within a second of which one I want to do. Do I want to go scrolling? Do I want to go a timer or OCR or recording? And then this way you don't have to keep clicking on the icon to choose. You can simply at wherever you are, click on command shift five, you can bring out this menu section here. And now I want to show you guys a couple more things. One of them is preferences. The other one is cloud. So we'll come to preferences first. A lot of these you can leave as a default and the menu bar is showing the icon of Obviously, I want to show this icon at all times on my menu bar. Export locations. If you don't want to save everything in your desktop, if you want to switch to your download folders, for example, then you can choose other folder you want to export locations to. One of the coolest part about the Clingshot X is actually this feature called hide the desktop icons. For example, if I uncheck it, conventionally, if you do a screenshot on Mac, Command Shift 4, some people's desktop could be really messy, right? There's a whole bunch of files files, folders, and a whole bunch of things. If you capture your screen or your desktop, it's going to automatically capture those files in the background. Toggling this option on, look at what happens if I do Command Shift 4. All these icons are immediately gone. They're not gone forever. They're just temporarily hidden until I do my screenshot and then the icons are back. That is one of the main features I really like about Clingshot X. And now move on to the wallpaper. Every time if you do a screenshot, what kind of background do you wanna show? So in this case, I wanna show my native desktop wallpaper so I don't have to worry about it. Other case, you can do plain color or you can do custom wallpaper. If you screenshot for your company, you can actually dedicate certain wallpaper to show every time you do a screenshot. The quick access navigation bar which is this one right here. This is called quick access menu. You can change this to different locations such as bottom left corner or bottom right corner. If you have a bigger secondary monitor, you probably want to adjust it to a little bit larger size. If you take a screenshot, if you don't do anything, this entire thing will actually stay here forever. And if I do a second screenshot like this, it's going to keep stacking this screenshot like this until you're going there to do certain commands to tell it, hey, I want to do save or copy on these screenshots. And you can always enable this auto close feature. So every 30 seconds, 20 seconds, or 10 seconds, you can choose the option. It's going to automatically save this screenshot to your desktop and close these quick access boxes on the bottom left. The remaining ones are really straightforward. For video, you can do maximum resolution or 1080p. My monitor here is 5K monitor. If I don't do anything, it will capture 5K quality. So sometimes if you want to reduce file size, you might want to do like 1080p or 720p. 1080p is probably going to be most popular. So even though your screen is 4K or 5K, it will downgrade it to 1080p. The file size will be 
is smaller. And screenshot here, I want to save it as format of PNG or JPEG if you wanted to. And one last one I want to mention is advanced file name. If you leave it as default, the default screenshot file name is a clean shot, basically the date and the time you took the screenshot. If you click on edit, you can see here, I changed that clean shot to screenshot, exactly the same as default native Mac screenshot. And now let's talk about the price of this app. This app is $29 for one-time payment. It doesn't include the Cloud Pro I'm going to get into in a moment. So for $29 for all these nine or 10 features you can have, personally, it's totally worth it. And never mind how much time this app saves me and how much more productive I can be with this app in terms of all these features mentioned above. If you are a student, you can reach out to CleanShot team to basically either email them with your student email or provide a scanned copy of your student ID. So this way, once you get verified, they are able to give you a basically 30% off of this app, if I believe correctly. So $29 or if you're a student, 30% off on top of $29. And the last part I want to touch on is a clean shot cloud. It's kind of like a Google Drive. All the screenshots, your save, screen record, your save, you have the option to upload them directly to the clouds for example, I'm going to do a screenshot just like this. I have the bottom right corner. I'm going to click on upload to cloud feature there and it's going to automatically upload it to the cloud. Once you do that, you come to clean shot cloud. You can see here the screenshot I just did. It automatically appeared on my cloud. And in here, I have the options to download it. I have the options to get a link and then share this link to whoever you want to share this link to. Maybe not too often with a screenshot, but I definitely see it is more powerful and useful for screen records, like videos, right? You don't want to send your giant video to your friends, which is like 100, 200 megabytes long. You can basically capture, record your screen, upload it directly to CleanShot Cloud, and then generate that link and send your friend this link instead of figuring a way to send this entire giant uh, file to your friends. And now for the free plan, you have up to one gigabyte storage option. Or if you want a little bit more storage, then you can go with a Cloud Pro. Basically, this is $8 a month build annually or $10 a month build monthly. You have unlimited cloud storage option. Again, if there is one app this year I absolutely love and I use it every single day, that's going to be CleanShot X. And I'm really glad I found this app and the $29 I paid for, it paid off a long time ago. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do and drop some likes and some comments and let me know what type of content do you expect from a channel like this and I'm happy to make those videos for you guys. If you decide to go with the CleanShot X, the link is in description below. This is Toriel Sultan signing out. I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.